What is up everybody? Welcome back to RC's Gateway to Comics and today we are going to be looking at something that gives you sort of a blast from the past, so to speak. Now, a lot of you may be aware of the times whenever DC and Marvel used to do swimsuit editions. Or you may also be aware of like the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues. I can speak correctly. Well, do not fret, because while those ones may have gone away or may have devolved into stupidity, good lord, if you could see what they put out nowadays, we have an alternative. We have the Diaz Brothers CG Vacation. And if I can get the light to not shine off of everything, then that'd be great. This is the sort of comics gate, indie comics, crowdfunded comics, creator-owned comics, mishmash of beautiful ladies in swimsuits, obviously, and having fun in pretty much a compilation of all the best artists that you can find out there that aren't currently employed by the big two. This book is pretty much like, it's a bunch of art pieces of sexy women having fun and looking beautiful. So I'm going to, some of them are a little bit more than what can be shown on YouTube. So I'm gonna try and show a quick I'm going to show you the ones that are able to be shown. Some of them. Not all of them, because I'm not going to spoil anything. But we do have the cover by Dale Keown, the living legend himself, and Shelby Robertson, and also Eugenio Betivu. Be Be I'm not entirely sure of the name. <laughs> I've heard of the first two guys, they're both great artists, and I'm not sure of the third guy. I'm sorry, very sorry. But that is just a small hint of what to expect from this book, because we have characters that haven't even been in books yet. I will show you who I'm talking about in a moment. Where is he? Where is the orangutan? There we are. We have Mo Biggs' AR-15 orangutan, who does not have a book yet, but he absolutely deserves one because he has so much lore attached to him already. And this hot blonde that he's holding, I am extremely jealous of him. And we also have characters from stories that I absolutely love. We have Pal Rodericks giving us a glimpse into Tens and pretty much anyone, any of the other characters in the Genuine Comics universe who look gorgeous, um, giving us into a glimpse into their uh, relaxation style. And Pow, I love you for including Replica. If you've seen my Perfect 10 reviews, then you would know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not going to show the other side of this page, because that may be a little bit too much for YouTube. But we have the, con the contribution from the Perfect 10 universe. Lovely, as always. And we have... Um, Cyberfrog, Heather Swain, Salamandroid, all having fun, and being drawn by Kelsey Shannon. Fantastic artist, by the way. I believe he has a book that's currently funding right now. If I'm not mistaken on Fund My Comic. So definitely go and check those out, check that out. In fact, check out all of the creators that are in this book, because you will not be disappointed. Um, where are some other ones? We have a character um, with the Masquerade 
from the Diaz brothers themselves and the Lost Pages stories. And we also have... Where are we? We have Anthony Figaro's art piece. I know I wasn't a backer on that campaign, but the art did really stand out whenever I did see it. Where is... All right, here is a piece by Shelby Robertson, and Cecil is poking his head in there. Um, Shelby is a fantastic artist as well. He gets high praise from me. Um, I believe he is... He's currently working on a comic that still has yet to be released, but I'm waiting on that uh, eagerly. Definitely eagerly. And then... We also have a pit piece by... T Tommy Patterson, that is going to certainly be interesting to see um, whenever Dale Keown puts out his Pit Omnibus, which I believe it should hopefully be coming out soon, or at least the campaign should be up soon, because that would be my actual, as I kick the camera stand for a second, that would be my first Introduction to Pit, believe it or not. But it will definitely be much, very much worthwhile. And another legend in himself, we have Graham Nolan's contribution with the Chinu and uh, another character as well. Not entirely sure who that is, but I'm assuming it may have something to do with the Chanu story. And Graham has some other comic projects that are coming out right now, which I have backed and I'm looking forward to. So definitely make sure to check out Graham Nolan's work because he is always fantastic. Now, I don't want to be spoiling too much of the work in this. Not that any of them could even possibly be spoiled, but I want you guys to get this for yourself, because it is definitely worth picking up. Now, whenever I got the campaign, I also got the, the calendar that came along with it. I don't have it hung up, mainly because there's not a, there's not a hole to hang it up with. And I wasn't about to deface this absolute piece of art by clipping a hole into it. So, I'm just going to have to make do with what I have. I also got a beach towel on the campaign because why the hell not? <laughs> um, it's it's harmless fun. It's, it's not something that's going to contribute to any of the stories going on down the line. But it is... It's a return to form for swimsuit issues, and it, lay, it lays the groundwork for more stuff like this, where it's a bunch of these creators getting together, putting their stuff into a book with fantastic art, and getting more eyes on their work. So, I'm trying to review this in a way similar to... A comic would be, it would be a waste of time, because since it's not a comic, all of this stuff is going to be, it's like the best of the best in crowdfunded and creator-owned comics right now. So, you already know that it's going to be very good. So, I'm not going to give it a rating, you just know that there are some living legends in this book, and they are fantastic. They bring their A-game for anything that they put out. So, I would say if you have a chance to check out this CG Vacation book and get all of these art pieces of these absolutely gorgeous ladies, definitely pick it up. Definitely pick it up.
So if you guys enjoyed this little look into the CG Vacation art book, definitely leave a like down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on books like this. What are some characters that you would want to see in a collection of art pieces like this? I'm curious to hear those in the comments as well. And if you would, please also subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to bring you guys reviews and let you see what fantastic art awaits you guys out in the creator-owned comics sphere. Thank you all for watching, and I will see all of you guys in the next episode. Peace out.